Welcome back to AM Northwest. Does your hair look great when you leave the salon, but never looks quite so good when you try to do it yourself? Here to share some tips, tricks, and products that will give you salon style at home, please welcome back to AM Northwest our expert stylist, Stephen Lightfoot. Thanks. Good to see you, Stephen. Thank you, Helen. And we also have Ariana here, is our beautiful model. Yeah. And really, you know, the complaint about, oh, it looked great when I left, and when I try to replicate what my stylist did, it's really tough to do, is pretty common, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I think it's the number one concern of a client. Yeah. How do I make this look good when I leave? Right. And so there's a couple of things that we really, as professionals, like to tell our clients. Please buy products that are going to help you attain your look. Whether that's hardware with a new flat iron or a blow dryer, you need to have the tools to be able to do the work. Let's take a look at Ariana, um, the way she is normally. And here we have Ariana. <laughs> You're beautiful regardless, just so you know, Ariana. But now here she is right now after you uh, did a few tricks yeah. to her. So yeah. tell us, give us some uh, tips that you use uh, styling Ariana's hair. So this is really Ariana doing her own work. Uh, what we were able to do was we offset her skin tone and her extremely light eye with a really strong brunette. So for a winter and a fall look, this is super, super important. You need to take your skin tone and eye color into it. And that's my job. And so we helped her, layered her in a beautiful royal purple with a cashmere scarf, something that's going to be Portland applicable, mm -hmm. and we have waterproof boots along with it. <laughs> but in her hair, what we used was a series of brand new products that have just come onto the market. A wonderful blow dry spray, which we gave the entire audience. And okay, what so this is the this yeah, is the blow exactly. dry spray, right? And here. the thing about this product that's so unique is it'll cut down the blow dry time. So if you don't have time in the morning and you need to have it smooth with a little bit of bounce and volume, you spray that in, you hit it with your blow dryer, and you're gonna get that look. Well now here's the thing I noticed in the picture, and I have the same problem. After I blow dry it, I've got lots of frizzies. Tons. And you go out into this weather and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you Welcome to Portland. Right. Right? And so this is, it has a property in it called an anti-humectant. I know it's a big word, but all it means is it helps the moisture stay off of your hair. Okay. So these products are very Portland oriented. Definitely what you need to be looking for when you go to shop. Okay, and when we talk about the color, how do you keep the color in? Yeah, well, a color-safe shampoo, we want to maintain our color that we spent money on, mm -hmm. right? So being able to look to color-safe shampoos and conditioners, that's really going to hold that color in, especially if you're a brunette who's gone from blonde to dark. You want that color to stay. Because so the, the color fades pretty quickly, doesn't it? it I mean, absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah, especially I mean, if, if, you're out in the, if you're out in the sun or just out in the elements at sure. all. Sure, yeah, definitely with the rain, with the wind, all of those aspects, getting your hair wet and then drying them out continuously, you want a great quality product and how do down. you add body to the hair? So what we did is we took our a, a blow dryer, and everyone should have one. If you don't have one, get one. Who and doesn't have a blow dryer? I don't, or if you don't, I'm just letting everyone know. Get one. <laughs> and we took we took our blow dry spray, and we used a little bit of that of the vo full volume of the, of the styling cream. And uh -huh. what that does is give her a little bit of bounce and body. But it's all about the blow dryer, the heat of that blow dryer, flipping her head upside down to attain that bouncy, beautiful look. Yeah, so flipping your hair upside down, you it's think, a, helps. Well, it's, it's fast. Yeah. You're exposing that underneath where all of your excess hair is, and you're able to get in it. And having your hair blow dry that direction, when you flip it over, you get that beautiful bounce. And any tricks to using, you say, use the flat iron. Any tricks to using the flat yeah, iron? Yeah, well, it's Christmas season, right? So uh, ribboning, when you take a pair of scissors and you mm. create that ribbon. Oh, yeah. So the same exact effect. You can do that with your flat iron at home. Instead of buying a fancy curling iron, if you use the same technique and you close, and you pull, you'll create a beautiful ribbon curl back away from the face. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, I can see how you do that. Yep. Okay, and then anything else that we should keep in mind when it comes to um, styling that, that's... Oh, yeah, if you gotta always consult your professional. Yeah. We'll give you the best, <laughs> we'll give you the best options. So whether you're going to the grocery store or you're coming to buy from me, we're gonna give you that information to help you buy smart. I'm curious, how do you get volume for those of us who are much older. How do you get volume in general? Is Vol it, volume is it product, product, product? Haircut, haircut, haircut. Okay. And then product and styling knowledge. So we will give you the great haircut, educate you on what styling products as well as the So techniques. how does haircut give you more volume? Haircut layered properly, mm -hmm. which means shorter pieces intermingled with longer pieces. Having that shorter to longer effect will help push that hair higher. So on your hair, if we layered in this general area mm -hmm. and gave you a little shortness in the crown, you would have more bounce and less hair to hold it down. So proper layering, not overly layering, 
but having asking your hairstylist for that. You know, I'm noticing now in Hollywood, the big thing is the pixie cut. Oh, it's, it's what way What do you think in. about that? I'm super excited. As a hairstylist, it's always so great to oh, see the transition. As a hairstylist, you like to cut off a lot of yeah, hair. We don't, some, some people, some stylists do. Yeah. Uh, for me, I just love that motion back to the short, and it gives people more options again. They don't feel confined to their long hair, and that's super exciting for me. So anybody who's looking for that, please. Yeah, and short hair is pretty versatile as oh, well. Oh, yes. It, the only thing that short hair really does that I would consider maybe on the, con on the negative mm -hmm. would be you have to do it. Yeah. When you get up, you can't up, just you, roll out of bed. Exactly. Long hair, you have the ponytail option. You can pull it away from the face. With short hair, you can't hide. Right. You have to make it look good all yeah, the time. Yeah, definitely. And I'm super excited for that. All right. Well, Stephen, thank you very much. Oh, and Ariana, you're a beautiful model. Always thank a pleasure. You.